Hey reefers, welcome to another Reef Stash video. In today's video, I'll be plumbing the 1800S2 Peninsula and sharing tips along the way. And yes, that's me primping. The Cade Australia YouTube channel has easy to follow step-by-step -step instructional videos that I highly recommend using during your plumbing install, which I'll link for you in the description. out. I don't want these in the water. I don't think they're needed. Bottom overflow hole in the glass. I put my finger through the bottom of the glass to find this hole to help guide it down and that helped a lot. It used to be a little tighter. We're just trying to find the right length for this piece so that it's straight up and it, it won't be kinked like that. to have a helper? Yep. Thank you for helping. Yep. Since I'm running this peninsula, set up against the wall. I'm taking out this shelf. That way if I have to reach that line back there, I can do so easily from coming in like this. All right, let's take a look at this. So this is our return line, return section, down through those two in the middle. And the water drops into this section, which then fills into the sock section. The overflow comes through here. Into your next section, which could be a fuge. If you don't want to run a refugium with macroalgae, you can also take this out. I love that you can remove that baffle. And then this will be my skimmer section most likely. On the far left is your auto top off reservoir. The water comes through here there and then there's a uh, filter media these also come out if you don't want to use them you don't have to and then the last section is the return pump which sends the water back up to the tank for this week's cash drop we have $25 all you need to do is drop me a comment and let me know about your plumbing experiences with your tanks all right guys peace out